My OWD Elements hard drive is full already. Can you believe it? And I've got my hands on a new one. And now I need to format it so that it works with my Mac. And seeing that you clicked on this video, <laughs> I'm assuming you're in the same boat. So don't worry, I got you covered. Let's do this together. First things first, I'm going to attach the cable to the USD port and then plug it into my MacBook Air. So my computer is old enough to still have these ports that allow me to plug my cables into it. And from my understanding, the latest M1 Mac also has a port again. But if you have a Mac between mine and the latest M1 and there's no port available for you to plug your cable into it, then I would suggest you head over to a computer store and buy an adapter, but you can also find these online as well. Alrighty, as you can see, I have an icon on my desktop informing me that the WD Elements hard drive is connected. Now, if I remember correctly, I had an issue doing this the first time because the icon didn't show. If this is the case for you, head up to the Finder window, scroll down to Preferences, then if you don't see what I'm showing you, make sure you're in the General tab, and from there, select External Disks. And if my memory serves me right, I just restarted my computer and then voila, <laughs> the icon appeared. But if you already see the icon, then you should be golden. And that's the case with what I've got on my desktop today. So I'm gonna go straight into formatting the hard drive now. Move your cursor to the magnifying glass icon and search for disk utility. When you see it, click on it. On the left here, I see elements and I'm going to click on it. Now that it is selected, I'm going to head over to Erase and click on it. Now we're going to set up our formatting and we do this by selecting the drop down there by where it says Format. Last time I selected Mac OS Extended, Journaled. I have no idea what it means. I just used it last time and it worked, so I'm gonna do the same thing again. And I'm going to rename the hard drive I managed to fill up a terabyte in a year, so I'm assuming this one will give me about a year's capacity as well. Cool. Now that I've renamed it and selected the format, I'm going to select the Erase button. As you can see, it's telling me that it's erasing elements and creating what I've called hard drive for 2021 and 2022. And now the process is complete. I can select Done. At the top over there, you can see the name change too. My hard drive now has the new name and when I double click, there is space for me to drag and drop my footage. And just a reminder quickly, when you want to remove your hard drive, just make sure you right click on it and select the option to remove the disk safely. So that's about it. <laughs> if you also came right, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. I will also leave some videos for you in the end screen that if you enjoyed this one, I'm sure you'll enjoy those too. But hope you came right. Take care. I'll see you in a future video. Bye.